Hello and welcome to Motorbeam. Yamaha floored everyone with the launch of the Arban 5 in 2008 and all the bikes have come and done little to affect the Arban 5 in sales like the Honda CBR 150R. Bajaj Auto has finally brought out its rival to the Arban 5 in 2015. After seven years, the first full fared pulsar the RS200 is priced around India's first mass-market full-fed motorcycle, the R15. But can the Yamaha hold its own against India's most popular sports bike brand? The Pulsar RS200, being the fresher bike of the two, does grab eyeballs, but not necessarily for its edgy and a bit over-the-top design. There's too much happening on the fairing and the less said about the rear tail light, the better. The Pulsar does get projector light, LED indicators and daytime running lookalike parking light. But in comparison, the R15 continues to come across as one of the best looking made in India motorcycles. The inspiration from the R6 is apparent at the rear and in the right colors, the R15 is pure eye candy. Both bikes get analog digital instrument cluster, but the Pulsar RS200 also gets a service due indicator, side stand indicator, battery indicator, clock and a shift light. Both bikes use a single cylinder, 4 valve, fuel injected, liquid cooled engine, but that's where the similarities end. Because the Pulsar RS200's triple spark motor is not only higher on displacement but also much higher on power and torque. Thus, in outright acceleration, the Pulsar RS200 simply annihilates the Yamaha R15, doing the turn more than a second quicker. The Pulsar also has a higher top speed by 10 km per hour, but the Yamaha has a better gearbox and also boasts of better NVH level. Vibrations are much lesser on the R15. Both bikes sound nice and love to redline. The smaller engine R15 is naturally more efficient than the Pulsar RS200. With a shorter wheelbase, better tyres and a longer swing arm over the 200 NS, the RS200 is the best handling Pulsar till date. But all that is overshadowed when you have the Yamaha R15 in the other corner, even though both bikes use a perimeter frame. The R15 simply offers better handling, it's more eager around corners, and the steering offers super quick response. It also weighs a massive 29 kgs lesser than the Race Sport Pulsar. But there's a big difference between the riding positions of both these bikes. While the R15 is outright sporty and thus gets painful to ride for long distances. When it comes to ride quality, braking and high speed stability, the R15 beats the Pulsar RS200 there as well. The Pulsar isn't bad at all, in fact it's quite good, but the Yamaha is just better. Due to the pricing, the non-ABS variant of the Pulsar RS200 competes with the R15 and there's no denying the fact that Yamaha's engineering is superior. Now the Pulsar RS200 has a bigger engine which gives it better performance, be it in the city or out on the highway. The Pulsar RS200 is also the more comfortable motorcycle. It's also more accommodating for the pillion and is without doubt the best Pulsar yet. The R15 is a great learner's bike if you want to take to the track. But the Pulsar RS200 is the more value for money offering, making it our winner in today's shootout. But how does the Pulsar RS200 compete with its bigger sibling, the KTM RC200? Well, we're going to find that out in our next episode. So make sure you hit the subscribe button right away.